dear uh, customer we thank you for purchasing the ultrasonic homogenizer or ultrasonic processor this ultrasonic processor is from a company ningbo lgia lab equipment company limited china though this machine is from china but we can say that during our past 3 uh, 4 years experience this is an excellent machine and as on march uh, 2018 we are having around uh, 25 installations all over india so this is a very very simple plug and play machine but still we are trying to give a small demo on a video so that it helps the customers in running the machine first time this machine has basically three components so this is the, the main thing and this is your controller or generator this is a sound reduction box so if our probe is in this box the sound will be reduced and it will be very very less and the third part is your probe so the most important thing about these machines is that they come in different different wattages like these machines come from 150 watt so as i said that these machines come in different different wattages right from 150 watt to 1800 watt so uh, different if the higher the watt means uh, you can uh, do uh, the higher volu volume volume uh, lysing of the sample so this particular model is basically 150 watt so this model can take only three probes that is 2 mm dia 3 mm dia 6 mm dia and 8 mm dia so first of all uh, these probes can be put uh, in one uh, transducer only so the first thing uh, we are going to see how we can change the probes actually so this is our uh, transducer and uh, now we are going to demonstrate how we can change the probe so here you can see that uh, the customer has purchased 2 mm dia 3 mm dia and 6 mm dia probe so now what we will do that this is a 6 mm dia probe and we will change it to 2 mm dia probe so this is uh, not very complicated there are two special tools with the help of that we will change the probe so you can see that this is a bigger tool and this is a smaller tool so what we will have to do we will have to fix up the bigger tool like this and to open the probe smaller tool we will have to fix like this and we have to move anti clockwise so initially this may be a little bit tight and we will move it anti clockwise with the help of the tool we will make two three turns and after that you can easily take it out by your hands only so these two tools are used for bigger probes above 6 mm and above 6 mm so now we are going to put a 2 mm probe in this so it's very simple just tighten the 2 mm probe clockwise and for 2 mm probe you don't have to use the second tool what we used earlier but a simple spanner will work fine the spanner also comes now we will have to change the direction of this if we are tightening it so we will make it in this direction and now we will tighten it make sure it is tight properly so now we have changed the probe from 6 mm to 2 mm <clears throat> so we have uh, fixed our 2 mm probe on the transducer now let us see how to fit uh, this uh, probe and transducer on the machine or sound reduction box this is very very simple we just have to simply slide it from this opening on the top and it will rest at some point <clears throat> now on the bottom you can see that this is one platform 
This platform is used for higher volumes, like this is a 2mm probe, so here the maximum volume that we can use is 0.2 to 5ml. So definitely we cannot use 5ml volume on this or we can use that we can put some wire in uh, some uh, beaker on the ice and then we can use it. Otherwise for the higher probes like 6mm we can use uh, this platform. So in that case, we will simply put our sample, say this type of beaker or glass and we can adjust the height of the platform with this nut. Make sure that in any case, the tip of the probe should be inside the solvent at least 1.5 to 2 centimeters. It may be more, but at least it should be 1.5 to 2 centimeters. But as this is a 2 mm probe, so here the volume is very, very less. So there is a special assembly and a different assembly which we can use to fix a wire. Uh, let us see how that assembly works. So this is one part of the assembly and you can see that there is one more rod. So what we can do that we can tighten this rod here and there is one clip. This clip part we can tighten on the right hand side like this. And if we are having a small vial so that we can push inside and tighten here like this. Then we can adjust with these things in exactly below the probe. So we can align the vial exactly below the probe and again make sure that it should be inside the solvent around 1.5 centimeters. Now, uh, when uh, this uh, probe runs or ultrasonicates, the temperature of this solvent shoots up. So, sometimes the customer warns that their sample temperature should not shoot below a certain point, say 40 degrees centigrade. So, there comes one temperature sensor, which we can again dip here and once the temperature will cross 40 degrees centigrade, the machine will stop. So, this is basically a protection. It doesn't control temperature, but it senses and protects your sample. So I'm just going to show this is your temperature sensor and it's very very easy. We just have to slide it from this opening and we have to dip it in the same vial. Like this you can Dip it. So now our uh, transducer is ready with the desired probe and now we will come to the main part that is the controller. So in the controller, uh, let us go to the back side. Uh, there is one very very important thing, uh, this is called the probe selector switch. You can see that for 150 watt uh, machine, uh, one point is 2 and 3 mm dia, second is 6 and 8 and third is 10. So if you are using 2 or 3 mm dia, you will have to select here. For 6 at 8 mm dia probes, you will have to select this here. And for 10 mm dia, you have to select here. So at this point of time, we are having 2 mm, so we will select 2 mm. Then there are few connectors. The temperature sensor what we inserted will go here. You can see that on the top there is one notch and here you will see that there is one guide. So align this notch with this guide and tighten it. In the same way uh, this is our power cable for the power to the transducer. In this also on the top there is one notch. 
and here on the top there is one guide so align this notch with the guide press it in and tighten it make sure that it should be tied properly it should not be loose in any case and then finally we will just connect the power cord this machine is a 230 volts so I have connected the power so we have connected the power and we are going to start now so I have put the main switch on and on the back hand side there is a on off switch this red color switch I have put this also on So the good thing about this uh, controller is that this is a touch screen controller and this is the first machine in India with a touch screen. The models before this model were not touch screen models. So this is a very very simple uh, interface with the user. Uh, let's see, here uh, we can store up to 19 programs here. Suppose I want to set my program number 1. So what I will have to do, I will go to set, then I will firstly select my program number. Suppose I want to save this as number 4, I will say 4, okay. Then I will select my probe, my probe is 2, okay. Or I can select my probe by increasing or decreasing, 3, 4, 3, 2. Now power rate. So one very very one more very important thing is this chart. As you can see that for SKL 150, if you are using a probe of 2 mm dia, the maximum power can be given 40%. For 3 mm, maximum is 50%. For 6 mm, maximum is 70%. And these are the volumes: 0.225, 3 to 10, and 10 to 100. This is very very important and make sure that you do not give higher power. So we are using here 2 mm dia probe, so we will not give more than 40% power. So for the demo I will give only 30% power. So I am giving the power rate at 30, right? And this is my pulse on and pulse off. Though theoretically you can go pulse on and pulse off up to 99.59 uh, seconds but actually we should not give more than 4-5 seconds and after one on pulse we should give at least 2-3 seconds off pulse so that the life of the probe and machine will go very good. So I am giving pulse on say 2 seconds and pulse off again 2 seconds. And the total run time is 5 minutes, 0 hours, 5 minutes and 0 seconds. And my alarm temperatures. Suppose I say that if my temperature of the sample should not exceed 50 degrees centigrade, so I will say 50. So these parameters are stored as program number 4. Now I will go and say run. So my program number 4 is set. and I will so now we have made our program and we just have to run it so let us see how it goes so once again let us see uh, processing time is 5 minutes on pulse is 2 seconds off pulse is 2 seconds alarm temperature is 50 degrees centigrade and this is the current temperature 29 degrees centigrade so I will just say run. So you can see that you can hear the sound and for there is a on pulse of 2 seconds and off pulse of 2 seconds. So this will keep on running like this and after 5 minutes the machine will be off. Here it also shows the total elapsed time. Now 28 seconds have elapsed. And elapsed time includes on and off both the pulses. So dear customer, uh, we do hope that this video will help you 
in running the machine and uh, this is a very very simple plug and play machine and installation is uh, not standard it, it it's a charged uh, thing if you want installation you need genetics charge some money for that we once again uh, thank you very much uh, for uh, purchasing this machine and in the last i, I just uh, slipped one point that is what exactly comes with your machine so with your machine is uh, generator will come this sound detection box will come the transducer with the probe will come and in the accessories these two these uh, three uh, tools will come and uh, there are two number of fuses extra fuses that come one is of i think 2 amperes and one is of 3 amperes and apart from that you will get uh, this uh, clip accessory so that you can use the uh, smaller uh, volumes so we thank you very much for your purchase and we do hope that you will have a good time with the machine thank you very much